Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss about the understanding of core Azure services. This is what module two second. So in this particular module, we are going to discuss about availability zones, regions, resource group, resource manager, storage account, virtual networks, database, big data analytics, serverless computing, Azure advisory. See, big data analytics, database, virtual, these are what core Azure services. Okay. Our and also Azure DevOps, this is also one of the service. Okay. So our path is what? DevOps service. Right? Correct, guys? yeah so let's discuss about uh, azure region and availability zones so what is the region so suresh you are sitting in uk right yeah so your region is what uk correct currently yeah yeah it will say central european time something central european yeah just region means what any geographical area that's all yeah yeah correct, correct? Yeah. Correct, Sajid. Region is what? Any geographical area like in India, yes. especially in cloud, South India region, North India region, Mumbai region, region, some specific region. So yes. basically in Azure, we have a multiple regions. Okay. Almost 55 regions till now. It may in after sometimes they may increase more region also. Okay. And they are uh, and they have differentiate, you know, uh, availability zone means what physical data center. So for each region, they have a three availability zones. It means what in each region they have three physical data center. Clear. Okay. Clear. What is the region and availability zone? Suresh. Clear. Okay. Data center is what? On premises data center, right? When I was explaining your private cloud, there are two types of private cloud internal and external. Hope you guys remember, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's discuss about the ability zones. Okay. Region means what? Any geographical area. Like in our, you know, Azure, we have East US, West US, right? South India region, these are what? Region. Inside each region, you can see in the picture, there are three availability zones, right? Availability zone first, second, and third. An availability zone is a physical separated zone within an Azure region. There are three availability zones per supported Azure region. Correct? I told you. Each availability zone has a distinct power source, network, and cooling. Why? Because for any case, for any region, if one zone is compromised, then replicated apps and data are, are instantly available in another zone. Okay. Now, if suppose we are talking about South India region, just I'm taking the example. Okay, Suresh, Sajid. Okay. Okay, so yes, yes. Yeah. So, in uh, uh, basically in South India region, they are going to create for each region, they are going to create Azure is going to create three, you know, physical data center. Let it be one in you know Karnataka, second in Kerala, third one yeah. is in suppose Tamil Nadu. Correct? Correct, guys? Yes. Yeah. So in that uh, physical data center, they are going to take the uh, you know power source from different organization network from different organization and cooling system also from different organization okay suppose availability zone is going to take the you know electricity supply from tata power then availability zone is going to take from reliance and availability zone third one is going to take ntpc or any other clear yes 
why because something will happen in tata power then that should not impact to the ability zone second and third this is what thumb rule clear yes like a clustered concept yeah concept and they are every, each and every services they are going to take from different different vendor because okay, something so will happen in that vendor it's a kind of backup okay like uh, if say um if we have this three since in this area i mean in this availability zone we have three uh, sorry in this azure region we have three availability zones so of which one will be acting as primary one initially if one goes wrong so second one will come and act as primary in which we are consuming the resource from there right yes exactly whatever the region first one is compromised secondly automatically you know each and every data apps will be replicated in zone second okay okay so i mean it's kind of primary and secondary thing initially what we are currently connected are, to is as a end user we are not able to know which one is okay, primary okay. one is uh, secondary okay because mm -hmm. it is what due to security region they will not tell you where they have you know uh, established their physical data center okay 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 as an user we don't know anything okay okay fine, fine. you know right due to say, you know, terrorist attack anything will happen correct yeah yeah all this security region so azure have till now 55 region worldwide and azure services the azure cloud provider is going to provide their services in 140 countries okay now my question is all of you i told you for each region there are what three availability zone right so for 55 region how many data center tell me One sixty five. One sixty five. Who said multiply by three? <laughs> Just give the number, man. One sixty five. Yeah, correct, correct. Fifty five into three. One sixty five only. Okay, okay. This Chinese did not have uh, allowed this as well, huh? Bloody Chinese. Huh? Hey, everything is recording. Okay, please, all of you. don't use please filter your i can understand okay. your emotion regarding chinese uh, but why it is only three they have chosen they are meant for is there that any is uh, reason that for that that is their thumb rule like uh, can i take a minute and explain on this because uh, it's a cluster concept it's like odd number cluster concept like uh, they maintain a quorum No, no, no. Okay, so This is, that is not hard and fast rule. Okay, do not uh, go in that direction. In AWS region, okay, hello. Okay. Yeah, in yeah. AWS yeah. region, there are so many regions are there where only there are two uh, availability uh, zones are there till now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. Okay. Only there Because so I'm an assumption that I'm an assumption no, that no. they might be following the same rule. like my this uh, by the management i have decided i am going to take your uh, training from 430 onwards today ist fine correct yeah and how many countries they are going to offer 140 countries till now they may increase they may decrease right yeah. something will happen in afghanistan what they will do correct guys something will happen in syria what they will do correct suresh sajid raj yes 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 okay now we are going to discuss about the resource group okay so a resource group is a unit of management for resource in azure okay so think of a resource group as a container that allows you to aggregate and manage all the resources required for an application in a single manageable unit see with this diagram try to understand first you should have a azure subscription azure subscription means what if you want to create any instance or if you want any services from azure cloud provider you should have first valid account that is known as azure subscription there are multiple types of azure subscription first one is free that is what we are using 
करेक्ट सुरेश साजिद राज करेक्ट अनदर वन इज पी एच यू गो मॉडल करेक्ट हाउ मच यू आर गोइंग टू पे यू हैव हाउ मच यू आर गोइंग टू यूज यू हैव टू पे दैट मच क्लियर ओके so uh, one more thing there is a very it's a very basic concept of uh, an azure cloud if you want to use any services first you should create the resource group with the diagram itself you can see that inside the resource group resources are available resource means what either it is a virtual machine either it is a database any type of uh, resource or instance okay but there is a difference between azure and aws only is what in azure without resource group you are not able to create a single instance even a network also even a virtual machine also data anything but in aws you are able to create clear this concept raj okay any confusion no okay so clear students so basically first we should have a account inside the account we are going to create the resource group inside the resource group we are going to create the resource clear okay we will do lab don't worry how to create resource group and all then i will show you next is azure resource manager azure resource manager is a management layer in which resource group and all the resource within it can create configured manage and delete it so basically as the name itself what it is going to tell you manager resource manager with the help of this particular service you are going to manage your resources or instance with azure resource manager we can do what are things we can do deploy application resource we can organize resources and control access and resources okay these are the things we are going to do Azure is also providing the storage services that is known as a storage account. There are four types of you know, storage accounts are available. That is blob, file, table, queue. And Azure storage account contains all your uh, all your Azure storage data object like blobs, file, queue, tables, and disk. The storage account provides a unique namespace for your Azure storage data that is accessible from anywhere in the world over HTTP and HTTPS. data in your azure storage account is durable and highly available secure and measurably scalable so it is going to provide you the security also if you are going to store any data inside that clear yeah actually what is that the unique name space y- unique name space is what whenever you are going to create the any storage account in portal i will show you it should be you, the name of the storage account should be unique globally suppose i have created a storage account is 01 in my account okay same name if you are going to try to uh, in your account to create the storage you are not able to create it will display the error it is not unique it is okay. not available because that name is okay. already assigned to someone else okay like the uh, email account we choose yes i will show you in portal mm mm-hmm. okay now we are going to discuss about the core products and solution available in azure okay so uh, so basically core products is azure virtual network it is also known as vnet okay and basically vnet whenever we are going to discuss about the uh, virtual network guys you must be knowing what is network on the network we are going to work right so ne- if we are if we want to work in cloud then we should work in virtual network right so azure virtual network is the fundamental building block for your private network in azure okay vnet enables many types of azure resources such as what virtual machine in to securely communicate with each other the internet and on premises network vnet is like a traditional network that vnet is nothing but it is a network only okay but it is available in cloud fine fresh there some background noise is coming 
Vnet is like a traditional network that you had operate uh, in your own data center, but brings with its additional benefit of Azure infrastructure such as scale, availability, and isolation. Okay, so this is what Azure. If we are going to work in uh, Azure infrastructure, so this Azure infrastructure will be in a, a, will be available in your Azure inside the Azure subscription. Okay. Inside the Azure subscription, you should first create the resource group. And inside the resource group, you can put any instance. Either it is a Azure virtual network also. Virtual network concept is what addresses when creating a VNet, you must specify a custom private IP address space using public and private address. Subnets enable you to segment the virtual network into one or more sub networks and allocate a portion of a virtual network address space to each subnet. Okay, region I have already explained you and subscription I have already explained you. Correct? Guys? Suresh? Yeah. Yeah. Now we will do some labs. Okay. So as I told you, first we need to uh, open one Notepad++, plus plus, please in your system i think i don't have notepad plus plus actually notepad you have right yeah yeah you can install today itself notepad plus. Yeah. it will take fraction of uh, you can open the notepad okay one minute i think i will change the layout yeah, uh, lab number first, write down. Create Azure account, Azure portal account, lab number first. Create. So uh, I think, hope you all have created this account. And those who are in a still not completed, please complete this one. Lab number second. So wait, as I told you, first we should have a valid subscription. Then only we are able to use any uh, Azure services, right? So if we are going to create the account, then we can say that we have a valid subscription. Okay. Now go to uh, in lab two, just write down, create the resource group. As I told you, without resource group, we are not able to create any instance. So first we have to create resource group in Azure portal. Correct, Suresh? Yeah. Lab number third. Create Azure virtual network or VNet. Just now we discussed, right? Through Azure portal. Everything should be through portal right now. So Azure virtual network is also known as VNet. Create virtual machine. Window virtual machine inside the bracket. Just mention window. Fine. Window or Windows? Yeah, window, window. Operating system only. This is what Linux. Lab okay. number five. Create Linux virtual machine. Sajid, any doubt till now? No, I am fine. Okay. So today, please create you know all this uh, you know account and on. Let it be. First, finish five. This is six lab. Okay. First finish. So first one mark has done. You have completed, right? Okay. One more thing. Uh, uh, go to view and just increase the font size. View. Zoom it. Little bit more. Zoom out. Okay. 
yes fine 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 okay. now i'm going to clearly able to view guys i am not that much young okay so that's the reason i'm just done. so mark has done okay now go to uh, portal save this file other you have not saved this save this file on your desktop lab azure lab azure lab fine yes yes so first of all we are i uh, know we are going to create the resource group type resource group on search box main river wait so you can see that there is a resource group first option it is coming right click on that select that okay so this is the resource group dashboard okay now why we are creating resource group because without resource group we are not able to create anything either network virtual machine anything correct now what is the purpose of creating the resource group what is the no, further purpose see if you are going to create the resource group and you are going to put uh, all your instance into the resource group in different different resource group there are many benefits are there first one is what according to the resource group you can differentiate your resources or instance and between the production server or testing server or dev server right kind of that stuff right according to the environment you can differentiate you can create three resource group first resource group belongs to dev resource group test resource group what production correct suresh clear yeah yeah click on add there's in left hand side there's a plus button create add like that yes type rg so you can see that subscription is free trial okay subscription is free trial it means what we are using currently free subscription free account type uh, give the name as rg capital rg test 01 okay so this is our an underscore dev underscore dev or rg underscore dev wait wait rg underscore underscore dev test 01 test 01 i don't think it will allow you okay it is allowing you yeah underscore okay fine now you can create yes click on create a space they will not allow you hide that okay review and create so wait wait now you can see that validation pass wait wait just a second validation pass and region you have selected is to us okay and subscription is free trial it means what if you are going to create it is not going to charge anything okay and why validation passed if we will input any wrong file any wrong you know data and then we are going to click on validate then validation will be fail okay now click on create so you can see that your resource group is completed right close close that one and where you can verify your operation is completed there is a notification bar you can see that in the main ribbon yes click that you can see that resource group created so these are what 14500 is what credited in your account within that within this limit we are able to complete okay all the labs okay clear guys uh wait, but can you go on mute ramkrishna because there's some sound uh, background noise is coming from your end
Okay. So let's find. Yeah. Now I can create one more resource group. Two more resource group. One is for dev you have created. One is for test, and one is for production. Rg test zero two. Test. Dev is completed, right? Dev you have already created. Now give the name as test. Just to test to test. Yeah, Rg test zero two. That's all. One time test is enough. Rg test zero one, not zero two. Zero two. Review plus create. Click on create. One second, one more. So why we are creating three resource group? Because we want suppose someone, uh, some of the client will, will tell you, please design our infrastructure, right? So in that case, you have to identify. This is not test. This is what production RG PROD. Test you have already created, right? Okay, let it be created. So created. Now in this resource group dashboard, you can see that manage view option after create there is a manage view option is there right Correct. from here you can wait wait let me wait wait from here you can edit the column right now how many columns are present four right one two three four from here you can can you please uh, you know reduce the width uh, gap between subscription and name Yes. Also reduce the gap. Yeah, yeah, that also needed. Yeah. Let no, it automatic. Be. Okay, let it be. Let it be. Wait, wait. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. That's all. Leave, leave that one. Okay, go to manage view. Okay, wait. Click on default. There is a filter sign, right? So, this is your default view of your dashboard. Okay. If you want to edit, there is a edit column. Click on edit column. Wait, go there. Manage view. There's the edit column like that. So from this, okay, you can add the column here also. Okay. Click on add column. Okay, and you can add any column from here. Like resource ID, location ID, okay, type, tags, status, click on save, status. One more column is added status. Fine, all of you. How to design your dashboard for any resource? Is it clear? Yes, sorry. Oh, great. Now, uh, guys, I'm just, you uh, know, just a second. Give me one minute. I just, I'm getting one call. Just a second. Let Fine. Please enroll our general membership for 399 plan to get access of all the parts. 
Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.